my God. Bro, <laughs> how are you doing? Oh, man, we are wonderful. We're great. We thank God for everything. You know, mm. God has been faithful. Oh, man. It's so lovely to talk to you today. I, hadn't, I haven't spoken to you in years. You know you're my favorite time. person. You know you're my favorite person on TV. What? You know, you, I mean, you, you ruled, man. You, you, you ruled radio and TV, man. Ah. You were, you were, the, you were Guys. the bomb. And you know, you know why, you know why I we respect you, fine. Freeze? Yeah. You are always on point. You're always, you, you don't take sides like every other, most of that press people have, have, have come across. You just, you are very, very objective and you're you are straight to the point. You don't let people push you around about this is the truth and that's the truth. May God bless you for what you're doing for the country, Amen. what you're doing for Nigeria. Amen. Amen. The truth will so, always um, set us free. Yes. Um, I don't want to take too much of your time because I know um, you're busy at all. I'm glad to have connected with you again. And um, we all watched the video of Idris Abdul Karim talking about how he helped the industry. And to my knowledge, from my perspective, because I, we all started at, around the same time. Yeah. Una yeah. Blue, but me don't they work for radio all that Believe. I started yes. on the radio in 1996. So I, I know a lot more than is being represented to the public. So I was like, if Idris comes out and says it like this, making himself look like he was the great test, the great guy, he fought for the industry. Mm. I, Tony is my very good friend. What I heard from, from Tony is totally different. I actually was with Tony today. Yeah. And when I, I called you, you were so, as in, I had to, I had to get off the phone because you were in yeah. tears. Yeah. Yeah. Eddie was, as in, he was weeping and I was in a public place. So I was like, no, you know what? No, no, no. Let's talk later because I had to get out of that place where I was. So Eddie, from your side, what really happened? I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best not to break down. You know, but please, first, before I enter, I, I need to let you know first that this, this can be very, very heartbreaking. You know, it's heartbreaking because you, you came out with a, with a pure heart in 97. And I came out with a pure heart. I was discovered by the um, Ray Power Grand Slam. You know, in my school, my alma mater, where I used to school, Yaba Tech, there was no Idris. When they discovered me, that's the first thing you, you everybody needs to know. If he's claiming anything, let's start from this story. Ray, Ray Power, Ray, Ray Power people are still alive. They can go back there and check. Except oh. Steve Kadiri. I don't know. They say they say he's dead. I didn't I didn't realize Steve Kadiri was dead. May his soul rest in peace. Yes. His soul rest in peace, man, my brother. Because that's the guy that would have told this whole story well. Now, after they discovered me, in, in, it was on a Friday night, Miss Yaba Tech show. Now, I, well, I had Saturday and Sunday in between. They said I should come on Monday to come and record the song. Should I come on? That, they are, that this is a new sound. They are blown away by it. They saw how I performed it. They made me perform the song three times again. After I performed once, they made me come back. The crowd said, no, they want it again. Because that's, that was my crowd in Yaba Tech. You know, they said, perform it. I played it three times on stage before they let, it, let me go. Because I was the last act that played that night. King Konyade was supposed to be in that show, but he didn't come. So they tried to bring a lot of upcoming artists to showcase, to make up the time for the night. After that, I now, with my girlfriend, Kemi Adeyayeni, please note that name. She's now Kemi Adebrahima. Kemi T. Brahima. She got she's married. She's in Canada. I, I spoke to her after I spoke to you this morning. I spoke to her. She's part of the witnesses I have because she was my girlfriend there. Everybody thought we were going to get married. Now, Kemi knows that I now went because I told Kemi that I'd met Idris a week ago at offer. You know? I, I, I said, when he gets to Lagos, he should let me know. Let me go and check DJ Shino to know if that guy is in Lagos. I will need a rapper. Hey, network, network. Okay. Network. Of course, I'll call you. Yeah, that I will need a rapper in this song. She said, yes, yeah, that's true. You need a rapper in this song. I said, okay. I went to DJ Dami in Abu Lerja. All this was happening between Yabatek and Unilag. Those were my areas. Now, 
I went to DJ Dami, who has been my DJ all this while. You can also call him and ask him. DJ Dami is alive. He's in Lagos. Now, I'll, all the people I mentioned, I'll send you their phone numbers so that you can confirm these stories. I don't know where Idris' story came from. That boy is a greedy boy. He has always been greedy right from time. And he calls, he's calling me the greedy one. Can you imagine? I'm the one that formed the group. Oh. I'm the one that invited him into the group. He, the way the day he was coming on Monday morning, he brought Tony. I had never met Tony in my life. I just saw a guy limping behind him. And I asked him, I said, when they get, got into my room, and I said, ah, who is this man? <coughs> Excuse me. He now introduced Tony as Tony Awotoe, like he's been with him all this while. That was when he just was supposed to tell me that, oh, this boy, his mother has, or uh, parents have given me some money before that I should move with him. I, should, I told them I will go, I'll take him everywhere I'm going and record one day. He didn't tell me that. That was where, I'm telling you this because that's where the rumors first started. When we were on tour, Shakomo tour, the rumors started that Tony's parents were sponsoring the group. You understand? No. They are not, I had $5,000 that my parents sent me from America. They were here in America in 97. They sent me that money to get out of the country and come. Since I've graduated, they don't see any reason why I'm in Nigeria. They can't help me now. I should come over. I said, no, I want to play my music. And if I play my music, this is where I should be. I would blow up here, Dad. I'll blow up here, Mom. Leave me alone. Let me. I've graduated. I've given you what you want. You understand? That was how I refused to travel. And I used that money, $5,000, to sponsor the group throughout that time. All our trips, all our rape power movements, all we, that was it. So I didn't see who was sponsoring us, bro. Now, that went until it just now starts saying, look, my, my problem with, it, with, with all this is, I noted down some things, so, so I might, it might look like I'm reading from paper. Now, I'm wondering how do you want these young cats? You are saying these young cats now should respect you. You are saying that they should do this. That they, who? You are not the only one that came out at that time. And believe me, we. If you notice all my interviews, I've always given kudos to those that came before us because we were not actually the ones that started Afrobeat. It was not even Afrobeat we named it then. It was Afro pop, Afro hip hop. That's what we named it, so that we can avoid clashing with Fela. Fela was the, was the originator of Afrobeat. So I didn't want to clash with that, and I love Fela a lot, because he was my, one of my mentors. So I said, no, let's rename this song, this uh, J-Ray. We named it Afropop. It was Ayo Anima Shaun. A year later, Ayo Anima Shaun and um, Tribesmen, and some people that said, no, 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 look, no, look. No. We cannot name, Afro is for Africa. We cannot name uh, our song Afro Hip Hop. It should be something else. They couldn't give me a name that time, but they said it should be something else. You know, it was later in the years when the whiskey came out. I saw whiskey felicitating with Femi, felicitating with Femi, felicitating with Femi. Ayo was there in one of the collaboration shows. He was there in one of those shows that Ayo told Femi and um, 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 whiskey that man, this this name of this song it should be Afrobeat because it's like coming from what fella did. I don't even mind you calling it Afrobeat, but that's how they called it Afrobeat, bro. Now. All these things are happening because we have not been giving kudos to who we should give it to. We have not been, ah, shit, this thing broke me down because God knows how, how much I suffered to put this group together back then. God knows how much I suffered to even write Shakomo. Because I was in school, I was going through a lot in school, but I was writing. You understand? I won't go to details of what I went through in school. How some families in school, you know, frats, how they tried to kill me in school because they wanted me to call their name and start performing Shakomo. Shakomo was too popular in all the schools around. I played it in Yunlang, I played it in Yabatek, I played it in Lasu, I played it in Osu, Ibadan. I was, I was popular already with Shakomo. So I don't know where this is right, right, bringing this story from. Omololu, if you remember Omololu, baby Tete Wale, Omololu is in London, I think. Call up Omololu. Idris went behind me after I met him, after that Monday that I met him, that I played the sound to him. That is this MC light that we'll use, but we'll have to put some other things to make it to Africanize it. Eh? Joining the Western world and our world together in music. That was my that was how I, I started putting things together. And Omolulu agreed. Omolulu liked it. He just now met Omolulu a week after I had met him and took that sound that I gave him and took it to Omolulu and told Omolulu that oh, no, I have a new sound, I'm a new sound uh, uh, this is what's happening uh, but I need a singer, I need a singer for this what? He told Omolulu that he needed a singer as if it was his sound bro, Idris is a treacherous bastard Idris is a cheat Nigerians to stop 
stop listening to Idris. I've been quiet all this while. I because I didn't want trouble. I don't want people to think that we keep fighting. We are keep fight that we are grown up. We shouldn't be fighting anymore. But bro, what is mine cannot be taken away from me. I will die before what is mine is taken from me. I swear to God Almighty. Idris, Idris made money from the government one time. He said Idris don't help anybody. Now himself, you know. He just made 120 or 150 million from government. When we were all down, I was down and out. This was a guy that I brought to eat food. Though. I was down. I went to Asaba. I, I was tired. I went to Asaba for four years and stayed. I came back to Lagos. I called Idris. See what I'm going through, bro. See what I'm going through. Ha! He just said, okay, I should, I should come to this hotel. I will drive to that hotel. I don't see Idris. Hey, 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 sorry, Eddie. Hey, something came out. I did for this hotel. I drove there. Nothing. I, I had to drive to five hotels before I saw Idris. Before I mean, before I saw the hotel that he was in. And guess what? All this while that he was on the phone telling me to come to this hotel, he was not even in any of the hotels. He had left. I met the manager of the last hotel that he was in when he called me. The manager said, ah, he just left just now. Yeah, he just left. Bro, I don't see any help till today. The, the, the biggest help when Idris go say he helped me, he say, Ah, and I thought. Now my boy that gave the money that time. Twice. He sent me five 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 thousand. Five thousand twice. Five thousand. I've never given it this five thousand in my but life. Was he was the one fighting for the industry. He said he's, he, he's fighting for the industry, they mad. How can he fight for the industry? Who is he to fight for the industry? If he's fighting for the industry, it's a collective effort. Every artist fights for this industry. Every artist has given their blood and sweat for this industry. So you shouldn't hold that and say, hey, you are fighting. Who, who are you to fight for the industry? Everybody fights for the industry. We have all been fighting for the industry. Fella fought for the industry before he died. How many people did he, did he tell this? Fella tell us uh, that you guys are ungrateful. No. So who is he to come and lord over everybody and say that he, he is the most ungrateful person I know in this world? I brought him to come and eat food. He turned against me. Started claiming the group. Said he was the one that formed the group. I am 56 years old, bro. I know Idris mate. I came low to join Idris and Tony, to bring to Idris and Tony into my group because of music. If not, we for no be we for no we're not on the same level. I'm an educated, I'm an educated fool. Bro, I went to school, I graduated, I get my certificates, I get my degrees. They're no get degree. We're not talking that one be yardstick. Yeah, no, no. But it's part of all the lies they have created right from the beginning. They've been lying right from the beginning. Lying to Nigerians. You know, he, he leaks Keke's ass. All our royalties have not been paid today because of the Dries Abdul Karim and Tony. With their fights. Because as remedies, we'll be able to fight for our royalties, right? But we have not been able to fight because we are always like this. Apart. Now, let me go to the story. Because I heard the, I heard the story when he said that um, I was the one that made Tony leave the group. He's mad, bro. He was the one that was fighting. Ask Benga where call Benga where right there in Nigeria right now. For Frolis, call Benga where make he tell you the truth. Idris was fighting Tony because we discovered that show, that first story I told you about who, who was sponsoring the group. There was a newspaper that Benga where brought in the middle of our tour. We were in Kano, I, or either Kano or Kaduna. When Benga we brought a newspaper from, you know, that news is circulating about us, saying that Tony's parents were sponsoring the group. Ha! I can't ask you to say, nah, see what happened. We called the meeting in the hotel. See what happened. How Tony Mama they sponsor group? Uh, he say, he, he just say, uh, uh, you know, say he get one time way, and uh, Mama give me fifty, uh, fifty thousand. Say make a make a carry and walk out. You like that? I said, but that was between you and Tony. We never found remedies. I never known at that time. So how come you guys are bringing it into... Do you understand what I'm saying, Freeze? How come you guys yeah. are bringing that topic into remedies issue? It's not a remedies issue now, Abby. Mm, so why are you bringing it in? That's how it just started wanting to steal all my glory in remedies. I must tell Nigerians this because I'm tired. I'm tired of keeping quiet. Say, make peace day, make peace day. If you keep quiet, say, make peace day. Oh, but then go chop your food. They're not going to give you glory for anything where you do. I was the one that tried my best to change, you know, the, the, the way music was going in our country. And I invited these boys. And I said, come, make we chop together. All they could do was to stab me at, um, at my back. I, I I don't blame Tony too much. I won't lie to you, bro. Because Tony, Tony, as a human being... Tony, Tony yeah, is a lovely... Yeah, 
true. You see me as I talk. Um, I said this interview where you give me this opportunity where you give me is to tell the truth about everything. Mm. And I've always been like this. I have not changed. My story has never changed. It has always been this story over 25 years ago. Tony can be calm and truthful, but Tony lets uh, it can it, it can actually you know it's, it's like a wind sometimes. It, it, it maybe that pressure or maybe it'd be like me. No one offend person or you know one make trouble day. He, 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 there are some truth that he should have said that he keeps to himself. You know, this thing will have liberated us all this while if everybody came out and said the truth. You understand? Mm. We are three in a group. If me, they complain like this, me, if me, I talk like this, and Tony talk like this, you know, say, so you go declare, everybody go, no, say, oh, yo, that, that third guy, I ain't get problem. But the problem has always gone on because Tony himself has not come. That's where I'm, I'm a little mad with him. He should come out, and you told me he did an interview to you. I would like to see his interview. And hear what he said. They should come out and tell the truth. The same way DJT went to Netflix and wrote and collected money from Netflix on for our head, for our story, story that we should have told by ourselves. You went to tell our story, and now he's not telling it well. I was not in that interview, freeze. Can you imagine the beginning of how Afro pop took over in Nigeria? And I'm not in this story. So how can that story be complete? So DJT himself. Is, a, is another is another liar because they're all liars if you are taking the story from how it came look the, i said to everybody that before us there was pretty and junior those guys i give them kudos because they were the originators of what we are playing today pretty and junior after pretty be, uh, before pretty and junior there was um uh uh, two, uh whew, this old group um uh galaxy or fantasy or something like that there was a lot group to that side. Now me, I like that girl. Thank you. They give me Look. one hala. Oh, Jesus. That's, Af that's Afro pop. That's Afro yeah. beat. Remember now, these people too, um, 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 they, remember these, these guys, they had, one of them was in Cool FM. One of them was in Cool FM. I've forgotten their song. One of them was in Cool FM. There were three of them. Ecstasy or something like that. There was a girl. Two guys and one girl. One of the guys was in Cool FM. You know your station that time so you know they had come out before us i gave kudos to all of them they are the ones that were the originators of what we're playing today we just came and made it popular we were the ones that blew it, blew it up and made it popular because we stayed as a group you know at least for one year two years we were there you know to push the music and make it popular so maybe that's why everybody gave us the kudos you know but my problem is why are why did it is it, it, asking for so much recognition Asking for this and that from these young cats when him to do him to some so it's not come at the warrior and I come at the hit it with my no no. Where as long as you know respect those that came before you and those that even gave you the, the, the food to chop. I gave him food to chop with me now by inviting me inviting him to the group. Before then they, they, when we got to rape our bro, they didn't let them enter for one hour. I said why? Please let them enter. They're part of my group. They say no. They said, especially this one, Idris. They, they pointed to Idris. I said, why? They said he was there one year ago. So the story Idris is telling you is a story that happened to him alone one year ago before we met in Ray Power. They refused him. They said, we can't play rap music. We, we're not play, We're not tuned to rap music yet. We can't play rap music. Now only rap with the rap now. Now when I write Shakomo singing, we can't mix them with rap. Oh, Ray Power heard it was a good new sound. We, that was how they allowed us. I begged them. They allowed him to enter. After one hour, now he just entered with me. Go record. We, we, we start to the recovery power. You know, talk all those stories. You know, talk all those words. You know, talk all those words to Nigerians. But he came out and he was. If I may be born boy, eh, I swear to God, if I don't come, if I don't find him, I go beat him. I swear. I, I, you know why? Bonner boy has taken our our levels to another level. We should be grateful to him. We should be, we should all rally around, uh, rally around him and push him. And I am dying to do a collab with with Bonner Boy for my comeback album. So why should somebody be running him down when the boy has taken us globally? Mm. That person mm. must be mad. That person must be on drugs or something. You don't understand. Mm. If this is on drugs, if he's not on drugs or whatever is pushing him, maybe not Satan they push him. Why is he after these boys when he no respect those way past him? Mm. He just don't get respect. He don't get respect for anybody. He's a fool. I swear to God. He calls me. He talks. He, 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 
Once in a while, he texts me on, on the phone. My, I had no day open to text him back to discuss with him well. Why? But everything you say with Idris, Idris turns it into something else. I, I had a deal here. I met somebody in Chicago, bro. I had a deal and I sent it to the remedies on contract. I invited two of our managers that they know, two, two guys, Shola and Steve. They got involved. So that you know, we won't be like, ah, now Eddie, they push this thing alone. No, no. I want it to be transparent. And I told them, please, forward this to Idris and Tony. If they can sign this, if, if, if they can, if they can um, agree with this deal. Look, this guy wants to sponsor us. And he was not a record label. He was just a guy that was our fan, interested in the remedies coming back. He was not a record label. He just wanted his money back when we are done. He doesn't want interest. Finish, bro. Now, I send them to the boys. The boy, you know what the boys were telling me, two of them? And they are broke. Instead of, I'm broke too. Instead of us to do this thing, do, do this job, to come back as remedies, when we come back, there will be a lot of deals, a lot of deals waiting for us. Abi, no. My, my boy said, ah, eh, where, where the contract? Make you give us contract, make we sign contract. Where the money? Where the, ah, ah. Ah. This, this say, it will say, say me I did greedy. Ah, ah, it's a pity. I wish we could rewind the hands of time in a video so that we can see everything that happened that time. How can I be greedy? My parents are okay. My dad don't die now, Shah. But my parents were okay that time. We were not suffering. That time, I was not suffering. So I wouldn't have, you know, I was ready to go. We, we had some money with us. What else did we need from anybody? But it's just treachery and treachery and treachery. That in this case, not treachery. It, ah, it disappointed me. Well, well, bro. I've always been the last person that everybody talks to. I've always been the last person that the press will call and talk to about things. I'm telling you, the same, that's why I mentioned that Netflix issue. They didn't call me. They didn't call me for interview. I saw people that were in the interview. It was only Tony inside the interview that said, ah, it was Eddie that started this thing. It was Eddie because Tony knew the truth. He knew how we started. Idris denied it. Denied my bringing him in. How can you be denying me bringing you in and you never brought me in? I brought you in. You kept telling the story. All, you, you changed the story round. Say now you, Go find one person, one person, Steve Kadiri. If it was Steve Kadiri die like that, uh, I swear he go slap with this. I because I'm very close to Steve. I was very close to him even before he died. You just don't know Steve as I know him. I swear to God, Steve that I know. If he was alive today and he heard Idris's interview, Steve will look for Idris and slap him in the mouth and say you are ungrateful. So as an ungrateful artist that he is, why? My question is why is he? tampering with these new cats why is he talking to these new boys why huh. they are doing well they are doing us proud I me mean, i want i hey I, I repeat again i want to do collabs with all these guys because they have done so well they have done us proud he not do us proud now he's supposed to collab with 50 cents what does he do he go fight 50 cents he covered the road for, for me and tony since that day till today bro i lost my franchise with um uh, uh, mbl I lost my relationship with Guinness just because of the drizzle. I know they did fight, oh. I didn't fight, oh. I didn't fight 50 cents, oh. In yeah. fact, I went to 50 cents show when he came here in Washington. I went to watch his show out of, out of joy, pure joy as an artist. Why should I be fighting my fellow artists? Now that Afrobeat is raining, this Afrobeat will dream. Now when they rain, I just see your thought, don't say, now, 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 now you don't say go fight everybody. He's a fool. Why will you be fighting everybody? We're supposed to be working together now as actions together, as one. We are the voice of the people. We are the only ones that can change what the government is doing to people right now. We were supposed to change that now. We will come to fight each other. That is where my heart is broken. My heart is so broken because of this fight. I told you, I said, I didn't want to feel like this, freeze. That's why I've not done any interview with anybody. I don't do any interview. I know how I suffered in this industry. And I know how broke I am right now. All these were caused by the people that I invited to be in my in my in my camp. They were people that I trusted and I loved. I said they have talent. I have some talent. Let's come together and make this talent work. How, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? That somebody was somebody is now trying to take my life, my or my life work, and make it his. He claims my song and make it his. I know how many songs I sacrificed for Idris when we were splitting up as a group. I sacrificed some songs to him. Ah, <coughs> you know that song Sorry. that featured Wumi? Come back home. Come back home. 
I wrote that song. Tony's um 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 jiggy jiggy bang bang. Let me write up. All of them never give me credit for anything. They didn't give me credit. I kept writing songs. I kept. It just came with some songs. Shade was never a song that it just came with, but it was one of Idris's songs. Let me tell you how it came. Shade. Shade was like a, a chorus line, uh, like a refrain. Omo, kilo de muwa, bela, no, finish. That was what we knew about that Shade. I turned it to a song and made it Shade. Because that was, that line I song sang to you now was in another song called Ajegule. But Ajegule was not commercial, it was not moving. So I said, but this part that you put there, this Omo, kilo de muwa, ask Benga where, I said, this part, um, I can turn it into a, another full song. That was how we got Shadi. I swear. That was how we got Shadi. I know the blood and sweat I sacrificed for this group. All the money when they chop. And Tony, you know why? Tony do not pay me small. May I tell you why? Tony made money in my car. These boys forgot. They forgot how I brought them in, man. Tony made money in my car. And when he made that money, he didn't look for me. That was the part. When Tony was making money was when my issue started because of the wife I married with Kenny's music. You know, I had so much issues with her. I was cheated all the way and she was the vice president of that company. So who would I complain to? My closest pal, which is her, right? As I started complaining to her, telling her about the company, she would go and tell her. It was like we were not my husband and wife. So she's part of this treachery too. You know, she, she, she went with Idris. She had dinner with Idris, bro. The first time he just claimed my song, it was through Kenny St. Brown. He called Kenny St. Brown. They went, that's my, that was my wife at home when in Oba. I don't know how they called themselves. They went to dinner. Bro, I've never gone to dinner with Idris's wife in my life. But Idris called my wife behind me and went to dinner and told her a wrong story about Shakomo, a song I wrote in school years ago. And claimed that he wrote the song because he wanted Kenny St. to go tell Keke, which she did. And that started a whole lot of problems. Royalties, Nigerians, you know, today I'm not I've not been collecting royalties, bro. Full album, twelve songs, and then my own solo albums. You know, all the songs we released, I've not been collecting royalties, bro. I beg. How, well, how artists will break down? The royalties. When we started collecting royalties, first it was with Keke, it was with Kenny's music. We had not registered with Koso on that time. Now. Uh, Kenny's music refused. If you remember back then, go again and check my interviews and check newspapers. There was battling going on. Me and them we were going back and forth. When I was complaining that we were not being paid royalties, well, we we're not being paid royalties. We we're not being paid royalties. I was complaining that time. I, I think Nigerians heard it, some heard it, but nobody did anything. Nobody faced them. Everybody just believed that Kenny's music was helping remedies. How can a record label be helping artists for, for, I beg, for crying out loud? You all know how the business is now. Does a record label help an artist actually? We are doing business. There's no help. I am the one that has voice and talent, right? We write, we compose. You are the company that can make, that can push it and go market it, right? We have a deal. It's a business. Nobody's helping anybody. They keep telling you that they are helping you. So you should be grateful, helping you. I don't know why Kenny Music kept doing that. It was business. We had business. So there's no help. There's nobody helping. If, if there's anything, we are both helping each other at the end of the day. You know? But it went on like that. They claimed what was mine. Realities that were supposed to be well. So when I saw that, I could not find this thing alone. I could not do this thing alone. I went to register. I spoke to some people. I met Mr. Tony Okoroji. And he said, that's why we have been urging artists to come and register in Kosovo so that we can fight for your, for, your, for your artist rights and your copyrights and your realities. I said, okay. I registered with him. I was one that spoke to Azadot to register. I spoke to South Sota, may his soul rest in peace to register. I spoke to other artists that time. Because they, they, they respected me and they were hearing my voice. They all, all of us registered, you know? And that's how we, be, we belong to Koson. I couldn't hold Kenny's music anymore, right? So it's Koson. Even the Koson now, it's not, they've not been paid. Since tw I received my last reality from Koson, I think in 2014 or 2015. We are in 2024. Where are our royalties? Because if you check Spotify, all, are, all those songs I'm telling you, they are on Spotify. If you check um, uh, Pandora, they are all in Pandora. It's on net. Our songs are on net. People are downloading. People are playing it every day. Where is the money for us till today? You understand? And all this has happened because remedies don't get one mouth. We cannot come together and fight for what is ours because we don't get one mouth because of treachery. 
because of betrayal. So thank you for giving me this opportunity because this is the only way I know I can fight for what is mine. Please. This is the only way I know. And music is my life. That's the only thing I know. So, I don't know anything else but music. So if Idris claims that he was fighting for the industry, yeah. how can he be fighting for the industry when today you are broke because of the consequences, according to your story, of what he did yeah. to you? Yeah. But, what is he fighting? What is he fighting? Eh? He, he says, that's the only thing that you have signed. That's the only hit I know that you have as a solo artist. And that's it. We had hits in Remedy. All 12 songs that came out in an album were hits. All. And they were making money. They are still making money till today. We don't get royalties from it. Idris has no reason, no right to tell anybody that he paved the way for somebody. The person will pay away for him. What did they do the person? Mm. I prayed for him when he was sick. He knows. It was a video me and him. When he was sick, I didn't, I didn't want him to die. No, no. I don't wish anybody to be dead. But even especially Idris, I didn't want him to die. Why? I want Idris to be alive. He will be alive to see the glory of God. He will be alive to see that these lies that he's been telling will all be exposed and the truth will come out. You see, because the truth always sets you free. You can never tamper with the truth. It sets you free all the time. It just has tampered with so many people's hearts. He has broken so many people's hearts by what he has done. Even my mother's heart was broken for Idris. My mother cooked for Idris now. My mama cooked for me. Okay, yeah, we go to a uh, uh, bushmeat for my mama place for Kanu one time. When would they travel? We drop bushmeat or sabongeri. But my mama cook. My mama go cook, go turn it. Where well, Idris go come, they will come chop. My mom was treating them like her own children. My mom, she's still alive. They can go ask her. It's only my dad that's there. My dad never want that. This is now. Now they understand why my dad know when I play music. I just understand and now because they did the same thing to him. My dad is among those that wrote national anthem. This time arise, oh compatriots. What did I do, my dad? What did I? Then I give him any recognition. They give him anything. Instead, they give the condition to Inyoga, who was the commissioner of police that time, or the assay. When you go to Crystal Cote's church, they will now play. That was why I stopped. That was my church before, household. I stopped going to household. I, in fact, I, 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 I stopped going to any church because church is one of our biggest problems in Nigeria. That's why I started following what? your podcast. Church is the biggest problem we have in Nigeria. Religion. It has messed us up in Nigeria. If you say we don't get religion in Nigeria, eh? Nigeria will be one of the biggest countries in the world. Hmm. But religion and politics, they fuck, up, fuck our lives. Mm. Religion and politics. Religion. Why must you have, if you trust God, if you believe in God, there's only for you to have religion now. Because God is one God. <laughs> now one God now, he listens mm. to everybody. Everybody must learn the way to, you know, to communicate with him. One God. One nation. One world. Why do we have denominations? Even Christians, even Christians cannot agree with themselves, right? They can't agree with themselves. That's why I like that they whip their, their nyash. All these pastors, we can't, we, they, are, they have messed our lives up in Nigeria. They are collecting huh. tithes. Tithes for what? Where is the tithe going to? Who told you to collect tithes? Ah, please. See, God will, God will help us all. Ed, well, Ed, <coughs> I spoke to you today, and I know this is the beginning of good. Home. Free, it, in Jesus' name. It's the it, good things to come. It, it, I, I met you as a star. There are very few people that I met that were already stars. You, Two Face, everybody else, maybe Julius. Arnold. Even that one, Steph. Two Face wanted to help. But because of them, Idris and them, you know, and them, he couldn't help me. He was scared. The boy was scared. He said, if he helped Help me now. If you help me now, make those ones begin. Uh, eh? I didn't even know that. I was eh? then go then go the vex say you help person where they fall. Then go the vex say you help the person. Why? Everybody with vex say you help person where fall. The person are waiting. Now heavy with you. <laughs> I mean, I go the vex say somebody help somebody out of problem. So they wanted me to remain where I was so I, I do not talk so I do not have a voice to talk. If I be this is it's only this we are talking about. Where, 
you and I should sit down one day and talk about Kenny's music. So you can see, when I was crying that time, that my life is in danger, my life is in danger because I'm living Kenny's music. You guys thought I was joking. Maybe they killed Mobad later. Mobad died now. Abi, from record label matters. It has started in our time, that time. But nobody was listening to me when I was crying. They thought I was just ungrateful. They thought I was just, Kenny's music did everything for us. How? Kenny's music did not discover us. Please, for records, for record purposes, please. Kenny's music did not discover remedies. Remedies was discovered by Cooper Victory's senior brother called Solomon Okunedo. Of so soon, because of us, he formed so soon records. So records. Solomon Records. So he released us. He released Shakomo and two other songs, Judile or Rokibo, and Shakomo remix. That remix we did it to feature his brother Cooper, Cooper Victory. So three songs in a solo album. It was one solo song with two bonus tracks. That was the deal we had with Solomon Okonedo that discovered us, bro. That was the man that put down the first three million for remedies and say, let's push this album. So why would Kenneth Music? They be claiming what they are what so it's a trend you see can't really train the dress too so the dress now don't they do the same thing with them do they claim what they know with their own Kenneth music never discovered remedies Kenneth music produced and pushed the, the full album of remedies after one year after they came out because of the deal we had with soul records it had to last one year marketing did alone we were on tour now the deal was going on uh, we went to tour for three months you know, 30 states, 60 shows. We now came back in that same 97, you know, those shows flowed into 98. You understand? Into the early next, the early of the next year, 98. So we did that deal and that was it. When we were doing that, in that middle, Keke kept pursuing remedies. I, I had his contract for three months. Then my ex-wife came back from London. She was in London. It was her that brought the idea and said, ah, hey, bon, hey, she, hey, they can, they can me at the inform record label. Can push our boys, he can, can get one. Because they wanted to steal us away from Soul Records. But I told them that we have a deal with Soul Records for one year. You have to let that deal last for one year. That was how they left us alone. And the contract was with me. Four pages. I swear, Idris was Idris, Idris has always been a, an Africa. Idris was pushing me. Tony kept quiet. Tony listened to me and what division we had, me and Bengawe, and he kept quiet. I said, okay, you will follow up. But Idris wanted me to sign that paper. We should sign. Can this music? We should sign. Sign for what? You, you don't read that. You don't read the paper. You don't read what you did the paper. On an educated fool. I should sign paper anyhow like that. He, you go read that, make you see what then they do us. Make you see what then they hold us for. You say, make I sign up. It became a. It became a quarrel, so now I didn't want us to start quarreling in the tour. We were in the tour, remember? You know, I then I say, okay, look, I will sign. But if problems begin happen, don't be me you go call oh. Now Kenny Swiss you go call oh. because all these people they prove down. Eh? If we know, if we know, come out some things, some pluses, we will suffer for it. He said, no matter, we no matter, we just they come out. They, they won't help us. They won't blow. I want they no help us. They no help. Now maybe now you they help. They no help me. Oh. We start having those. You understand? Because it looked like he did not understand the kind of deals we had. He did not understand where we were going to. But he had his own his own personal agenda. Every time I we were to we were supposed to be together, he just will, will disappear. He's with Keke. He's with Keke. Me and Tony will be in the, with the group where we're rehearsing in a daily job. He just is with Keke. What, what are you doing with Keke? You are selling us out. You are selling us out. He just sold us out throughout in remedies. What is he going to say? Let him come and sit down with me here. Let him sit down with me here and let us talk. So I can lie those lies in front of me. He, he's granting interviews and lying so many lies. He's telling, and even people, are they here, and they see him now, and they see, even when they talk, fans, they tell, they, they text, they talk saying they lie. He, I think he's not reading it. He should go and read what the fans, because some fans know the story. Some fans know the truth. We still have some people that are alive, back then that was with us, that are alive today, they can tell all these stories for us. Go and meet them. them just man of and ask them now. Mm. They maintain. Ask them how we started now. Let me they carry all of them. Let me carry Idris, Waka. So how Idris they carry me, Waka? I won't know. Uh, uh, Let me carry uh, Waka. Now, now they tell people, say, now he carry me, Waka. Idris don't carry me, Waka. Me, Eddie. Idris don't carry me, Waka. I've been senior. 
I don't be the senior from day one, but you know they won't greed, they fight, they always fight. I liked it. I liked it from the, right in, in, at the beginning. You know why I liked it? Because that energy makes him want to compete. And when he's competing, he's spitting verses when he's competing. I liked it initially. But when I saw that it was the, all these things were targeted at me, he was he was targeting taking my top, taking the top. He was targeting taking my position. He was he wanted people to think that he was the one that made the group stay. He was the one that originated the group. You understand? He, he so he, he kept doing those things. Uh, and later I can't understand. Me, I kept doing everything with a open heart. But later when I understood, it was I I withdrew a bit. And started holding back something, but it was a bit too late because by that time we don't quarrel with Kenny's music, we don't go solo, you know, things had happened, and you know, so I kept everything inside me because I really didn't want the industry to keep thinking that we we're fighting and fighting and fight. No, I just left it like that. Today we're talking about it because you, you know, you know, when you called me at first, I said, No, I said, No, please, I don't want to talk about these things, let it be his problem. I don't want to talk about it anymore because I'm tired. Even when I talk, people don't listen. People don't. People okay. are not getting the truth. Just yes. the difference. There's going to be a lot of difference now. I pray. Uh, I are pray. actually going to listen because um, Charlie Boy might not have been the best person on earth, but the way Idris went for him, that disrespect, Charlie Boy, Charlie Boy, forget say what they call him Boy. Charlie Come Boy on, now, 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 Even if he makes. You see, Everybody, they make mistake. Idris wants Bonner Boy to respect him. Is he respecting Charlie Boy? He no respect Charlie Boy. He's respecting Eddie in the same. That's what I'm that saying now. In. So who go respect it? Now come at the world. Now come at the wipe him now. You know, no. Uh, Everything so, he has done to his fellow people, they are doing to him now, and he's angry. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, bro. Oof, it's been hot. Thank you so much. You know, thank you. Bro, but thank you. I believe personally that this is the beginning of a new chapter of your life yeah. and yeah. with this you are going to your especially you and tony and hopefully idris i hope idris can unwind I from hope. this and and also i pray he turns uh, around it just uh, it, it, it takes just apologizing only small apo just, oh nigerians i'm sorry oh, that i went like this i don't know what it happened to me i'm sorry i went like this yeah, everything will uh, right. tony petula is at my door so i'm going to go and see tony and we're, we're going to have an interview within okay. the next hour okay so tell him my love man tell him i love you man tony <laughs> loves you and tony loves you too. i know i i, I know i know and i know no matter what you guys went through tony is somebody i can sit down and talk to and you are someone i can sit down and talk to we can't remain who go talk to idris i swear <laughs> so like you guys the royalty and everything <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you so much for honoring my fight and i always like middle ground i i, I don't need to to use you to chase cloud no. before i can sell no no no, no. i have a dedicated set of fans that will come and listen to me even when, if... me, when me i'm wishing i had i had the number of your fans what are you talking about <laughs> it's like you have the whole, whole world listening to you <laughs> let's tell the truth let's let's yeah. heal yeah. uh there's, there's always going to be a bit of discrepancies in between everybody's story because everybody's seen true. it from perspective. compassion and, but, and emotions but, and, yeah true and when everybody else agrees on one thing then that thing needs to be addressed simple in my in my simple. humble opinion so let me go and meet tony uh you guys are going to get the complete story Eddie has shared his side of the story. Tony is going to share his side of the story. Keep it locked. Subscribe to my channel. Follow my Facebook um, and Instagram so you guys can hear it. I'm, I'm going to do a straight maybe one hour with um, Tony, so I'm not sure I can bring it to Instagram. On Facebook, I'm Daddy. On YouTube, is Daddy Freeze Teaches. Uh, sorry, TikTok. I might not be able to bring it to you guys. You know, Eddie is live, so when I'm live, I can stream to everywhere. But yeah. I don't think I have the energy to go live. So I'll just probably sit down with uh, Tony and just record off camera. And then it will be Maybe ready later. for an hour. God bless you, Eddie. From now on, me and you go to talk regularly. Man, thank you. God bless you. Thank you, you please. Thank you.